Okay, everything seems to be running well. All of the red dots represent just dust particles in the air or the air itself. Uh, as you will see, the uh, blue particles represent the sound waves themselves, and you will see some uh, owl ears uh, going off to the sides here, and it is different every time. So, yeah. Parabola, little radio. Go. Now, as we see, we had some little ones go out there, but you can see the air kind of collides with each other. Now this isn't exactly what happens, and if we were to do something a little more accurate, come in here and we would change the properties of the air itself. Okay. Let's see if that made a difference. The air particles do move a little bit further. Let's try this one more time. lower it. We're just trying to get a realistic effect on what the waves actually do to the air and we're gonna try and keep it so it narrows down. So far that's what it's been like. So yes, as we see here, the air particles kinda bounce off each other until they are there. So yeah, we can just simulate this as many times as we want. And there's always going to be a few outliers that do not bounce off correctly. Uh, but as we see, it has cleared the air out. Obviously, the air would probably move back in. So to fix that, to make an even more accurate simulation, since air is constantly moving, we can have... the air be moving constantly. Alright. So that did not turn out too well. Alright, so the air does need to shift more rapidly. Um, Alright. We will simply make it so that every frame it should move slightly. So just like real air, if it was not disturbed, it would be holding relatively still, but slightly moving. So now as we see, hopefully this camera can pick it up. But they, um, maybe I'll increase that real quick, but they are all moving. that and then okay so maybe you can see them all slightly moving I know I can and I'm pretty sure you can so the air mo molecules holding relatively still Oh shoot, messed up one of the variables. Okay, that should fix it. Let's go ahead. And now we launch it and everything seems to be going fine. So yeah, this is essentially how it will work inside the barrel of the gun. There's a picture of it like that, barrel of the gun, and then it shoots out and it goes whoosh. And if we keep firing this, you will see a pattern how it has just cleared out the middle area, and that's what we wanted. We wanted it to be able to just mainly focus into the middle. So this little radio is just shooting out a ton of little particles, and then they're bouncing off this, and then they go in whatever direction it bounces off. So yeah, that's pretty much it.